got a feeling they might be oyster catchers, you know, these boats going out. There's a few of them going out like that. I know they do catch oysters at Porlock, and you can buy them fresh at Porlock Weir. I've collected a few shells last year. suspect that that zoomed in quite well though didn't I? Zoomed in quite well. <sighs> We're going down on the beach in a minute everyone. Like, I don't know if much, much memory I've got. But it's just spectacular. It really is. Yeah, I just wondering if which hill I did get to the other day, whether it was that one there with a crown of pine trees on it. I'm just wondering if it was that as far as there I got, and then there was the, the big building further down the valley. There was the spruce trees that were under attack somewhere in there. Or did I walk that far and get as far as that point there? I'll have to look on the map. I might not have actually gone as far as that hill there. It might have been where that house was, round about there, turned off up a coombe. Still a big walk though, because it wasn't straightforward. Over and out. I'm just leaving this point then, Hurlston Point. I am aching all over, by the way. That walk up the hill has, like, wakened it all up again. And now I've got to go down Hurlston Coombe, which I was moaning about earlier. <laughs> but my feet aren't hurting at the moment. I'm just going to take it nice and steady going down it. Different shoes on. And then I'm going... I'm still walking back up the beach, though. I don't know how much memory I've got left... I've got my charger, so it's not battery to worry about, but it would be nice to finish off with a few images of the beach. But if I don't get many, it's because I'm so enthralled with my walk today and actually have achieved a bit more new stuff, even though I didn't plan it. I think to have done all that walk and then come up here and done that bit would have been... God, look, there's more of them going off. And then to have done that bit, I think would have been too much, to be quite honest. It would have been alright if I hadn't done the big walk the day before. They don't like life... They're, um... Lifeboat men, aren't they? Look. They must meet at Helston Point, then. Doing exercises, another one. There's another one, that's a bigger boat, that one. The rib boat. Yeah, that's the poor lock lifeboatman or mine head or Oh well, bit of capturing. <sighs> Up here there'd be a bench. And uh 
it would have been so easy to have come if you didn't, if they didn't know for example you come down the path there's a path coming down just up there <sighs> that is like the finale of the rugged walk if you like <laughs> that's the finale but uh Here's the bench. It's, I've got a feeling this is called Sheila's Bench, by the way. If I'm right. Yeah. This is Sheila's seat. So there's another Sheila somewhere who's as mad as me. Oh, yeah, Sheila's seat. I must remember that. People were sat on it, so I wouldn't have noticed. Sheila's seat. Let's sit on it a while. <sighs> See, they're, in, they're not pointing that way. They're not encouraging people to do that as part of the rugged route. Look, you go down there, which is what I've got to do now, which is, like I say, horrible on the feet. Over and out, everyone. I hope I do get to come back and sit up here on Sheila's seat again after the most beautiful five days of walking in the beautiful Somerset countryside. It's been absolutely beautiful. I've loved it, loved it all. Even though I moan at times, it's not, nothing's going to be totally straightforward, everyone. You are going to be times when you lose your water or you feel a bit too tired or you take the wrong route. It does happen when you're tired. I'm glad I decided to come back before not just get going to come back up. I'm glad I did this. Over and out. I'll just end on Sheila's seat. Right, I'm on the way down this uh, rather slippery slope. I, I did know the name a minute ago, but I've forgotten it already, what it's called, this uh, particular walk. Something coom, anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't do the extra bit just to do that, but it wasn't included in the walk. This is quite strenuous on the, the muscles and the feet going down, so little steps. And look at that beautiful view, though, as I'm going down, look. Going down this beautiful comb. But like I said, it's uh, hard on the toes, I always find, going down. At least it's not full of stones. I'm sure it was more rubbly before. And it's like coming down from the top there. I've done that walk when there's people on the bench. Typical, isn't it? Anyway, not to worry. I don't know, I might go through Bosington just to see if I can get an ice cream, because I reckon I deserve an ice cream. <sighs> but I don't know. I suspect it might still be open. I might not do ice cream, I've got no idea. I would have thought so. <sighs> Jane and Paul, these people I met, on the bus this morning. They're on my campsite as well. And they're doing this walk with the dog. So I hope they're alright. So it is quite hot today. I hate this bit, you know, it really, really hurts my toes going downhill like this. It's pinching them, something chronic. <sighs> I'm going to turn